Welcome back. Oklahoma State did exactly what they needed to do last night against Arizona. The Cowboys are backing up that top 10 ranking, and there's still plenty of room for growth. Caden has more from Stillwater. So just how good is this OSU football team? Well, good enough to make a 23-point defeat of a quality Pac-12 opponent appear routine and still find room for improvement. I was disappointing in uh, in our myself and our coaching staff. We allowed our players to be undisciplined with penalties. They just are so confident in themselves that I think they just kind of relax, and, and we, we can't do that. Nevertheless, that hoax offense rolled up more big numbers. There he is! Brandon Whedon, 397 yards passing and a school record for attempts and completions. He knows where to put the ball, and, uh, you know, he does a great job of getting it. Up. Justin Blackman, 14th straight 100-yard game to go with two touchdowns. If he's got his mind made up, he's going to go score. No doubt about it. And Joseph Randall, 220 total yards. And I, I envision, that, like, making plays at night when I go to sleep every night, you know, because I, I like to make big plays. For the second straight week, OSU solid defensively. We just harp on going 110%, so as a defense, you know, I think we're doing pretty good. And on special teams, Quinn Sharp's fake punt helped put Arizona away. It gave us an opportunity to, to really flip the momentum back at that time. So just how good is this OSU football team? Really good, but not as good as it's gonna be. We have to improve in all areas. We're, we're, we're not the finished product by any means. We're growing and, uh, you know, the more we take the field, the better we're gonna get. So the Cowboys get a couple of days to enjoy this victory. Up next at Tulsa, September the 17th, the Cowboys were 65-28 winners over the Golden Hurricane last season. From here in Stillwater, Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you.